him let us intensely look upon him he said i am the living bread came down from heaven i am the same i am is the one who spoke to moses from the burning bush and said i am who i am and in john's gospel seven times he said i am he said i am the resurrection and the life john chapter 11:25 he said i am the light of the world john 8:12 he said i am the good shepherd john 10 11 and he said i am the door john 10 3 and john 6 14 6 i am the way truth and the life and john 15 i am the vine you are my branch let us focus this i am this jesus is alpha and omega he is the infinite transcendent transcendent means beyond the time and space he is eternity to eternity same god we cannot perceive this that such a eternity to eternity god is living in our soul and speaking to us audibly O oh Lord, O oh Lord, I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. Keep on expressing our love. I love you, Jesus. You are the bridegroom. We are the bride. I love you, Jesus. I love you Jesus. I love you Jesus. Keep on chanting. I love you Jesus. I love you Jesus. I love you Jesus. We heard today in the gospel in the liturgy. If you love me, you will obey my commandment. and my father will love you we will come and make our home in you we the father son and holy spirit oh lord i thank you for your greatness for your glory in your glory in your greatness you choose to dwell in a human being like me you made me your brother and sister you are my brother i have a brother who is god oh my brother jesus Jesus said after the resurrection to Mary Magdalene go and tell my brothers 
the risen lord is our brother shala ala 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 we heard today that when he ascended he took he took everyone with him to the father so everyone with him to the father means through his ascension he, he ascended and sat at the right hand of the father god who is omnipotent and omniscient where is the right hand it is not a particular place it is the majesty it is the honor and majesty that is the meaning the right hand of the lord means the honor and majesty not a place so also heaven is not a place above the sky it is the stat it is the it is the so stand it is the mm, state it is the state the state where god is united whether when we are united with the most holy trinity that is heaven the union with the most holy trinity and blessed mother is the heaven catechism 1024 says that it is not a physical place or a space god who is eternity to eternity how can he be in a space these are very important teaching that is why if we realize him beyond the time and space then only the truth we can experience that is the truth once again remember jesus teaching he said when you pray go to your inner room that is in our own heart your inner room and close the door to listen to the voice of god you should close all other door all other memory all other distractions all other voices so many people speak to you oh what are you doing evangelization why do you have to do evangelization god who saved you will automatically save them you don't have to work so hard for evangelization some people will again say oh every religion has their own way of salvation why do you believe only jesus so so many voices a priest told me he was in his theology lesson the professor explained about the uniqueness and universality of jesus christ but at the end of the teachings so many days of teaching he dedicated for the subject but at the end he said the professor of theology said what do you think 
all these Hindus and Muslims and Buddhists are going to be saved through Jesus Christ? I don't believe. This is all theory. All what he taught so many days completely vanished by this one sentence. These are the voices even we may hear. Those responsible people who are going to teach us theology, if their situation is this, then what about others? So we have to purify our audi, audi, audible, our sense of listening. Then only we can listen to God clearly. If you want to listen, you must purify our, our hearing, our storage from all the bad, negative, untrue. That's why Jesus often said, truly, truly, I say to you, truly, truly, I say to you, that means and he is the truth. He cannot say lie. He cannot say lie. So when Jesus said, truly, truly, I say to you, you must know there is some untruth is spreading against the Lord, against the faith that has to be cleansed. So let us pray, O oh Holy Spirit, purify my memory, purify my inner sense of hearing. Sanctify me, O oh Lord, cleanse my body, mind and soul, purify me and make me whole, purify me and make me whole. Let us offer all our memories. Even we don't know. We heard many, many things from so many sources. What is truth? We don't know what is truth. We often are in a confusion. But Jesus is the only truth. He can purify us from all the lies and all the untruth. Then only we will have a pure conscience, a purity in our faith. So let us, you can sit down yes. comfortably yes. and ask the Lord dwelling in us Purify me, Lord, from all the wrong convictions, all the wrong hearings, all what we heard, wrong. There are so many false uber soigo, that is, sorry, false convictions, false convictions then we cannot evangelize. Once a sister came to me and said, brother, I am a religious. I, have, I had such a fire to evangelize. I am teaching in a school of 3,000 students, but I, have, I am not able to say 
one word to any of the children about Jesus. Can you pray for me and find out what can be the block or problem? So when I was praying in this type of a retreat, you can also come to me tomorrow as and when we have time in the break times. I can pray for you and find out what can be the block, so to say. I don't like to use that word block, but for the practical purpose. As I was praying for this sister, I saw a vision, a little girl with a school bag and a tiffin box walking and while going to school, there was a statue of Sri Narayana Guru in South India. It's a very famous statue. And there it is written, Madhamedayalum Manishil Nanayamadi. Whatever may be your religion, be a good man, that is enough. So I asked her, Sister, have you? Were you, when you were going as a child to school, is there a statue like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day I used to see that. So every day this message has gone into her soul, her heart, her conviction. So whenever somebody come and ask, one of the 10 standard girl came and asked this sister, holding on the crucifix, who is this sister? Oh, you don't have to know about it. Even such, she could not speak about Jesus because in her, deep inside her, this wrong conviction, whatever may be your religion, be a good man. I said, that is why you are not able to proclaim. Now, Jesus has come. He said, unless I wash you, you have no part with me. One of the things he did before instituting the sacrament, before instituting the priesthood, he washed all of them. The priesthood must be holy, completely united with Christ. So when Peter said, oh, no, 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 I will not allow you to wash me. Then Jesus said, unless I wash you, you have no part with me. You have no inheritance with me. You have no union with me. I must wash you. So let us offer ourselves. Wash me, Lord, sincerely. And now, let me complete that story. I told her, this can be washed through Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, cleansing through the grace, cleansing through the blood of Christ. Remove, surrender that. So many days you saw that board that you surrender, Lord. Purify me, Lord. Remove that from my mind. Jesus also said, every plant that is not planted by my heavenly Father will be uprooted. That is not a message of salvation. Message of salvation is, whatever may be your religion, salvation is only through Jesus Christ. Do you believe that? And sister said, yes, I now believe that. And I reject that other one. And I pray, oh Holy Spirit, cleanse me. Sanctify me. Remove that from my mind and my heart. And I prayed over her. 
and that very day afternoon this happened in divine retreat center when i was giving a retreat for the for the for the uh, highly educated people for the offices or the working class teachers lawyers doctors such a group and afternoon she came up on the stage and gave a testimony with boldness she proclaimed the very day so although we are called we have given our life to preach but yet this type of wrong convictions block our conscience we have no power to proclaim christ so we need that holiness that is the type of sanctification we need so let us sincerely surrender our inner self oh jesus you are in me oh holy spirit you are in me i really do not know what is the hindrances we ha i have i i am in the world with the so many pluralism consumerism materialism myth myth so many myth so many false doctrine so many superstitions what is that in me which is which is hindering the evangelization hindering the work of the charism hindering the proclamation oh lord take away that pluck that away from me sanctify me lord wash me lord please give your inner self your conscience your memory to the holy spirit to jesus and pray sincerely wash me lord wash me cleanse me wash me lord cleanse me lord remove pluck out all that what i have seen through television or so many media so many media people speak so many things what is the truth the lord alone is the truth and the spirit of truth only can help you shala la 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 i am praying for you to be healed from all these hindrances oh holy spirit oh holy spirit sanctify me lord sanctify me shanda la 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 if you like you can pray loudly shala hala bala hala bala brain tanks brain tanks shandala hala bala hala bala oh holy spirit wash me holy spirit cleanse me holy spirit cleanse me holy spirit wash me holy spirit cleanse me holy spirit shandala hala bala 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 hallelujah sanctify my soul sanctify my soul sanctify my conscience sanctify memories sanctify my inner senses sanctify my sense of listening sanctify my sense of hearing sanctify my sense of hearing hallelujah hallelujah Jesus, Jesus, you you are my Lord. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. You are my Lord and my God. You are my Lord and my God. Cleanse me, Lord, from all impurities. Cleanse me, Lord, from all impurities. Cleanse my inner self. sanctifies cleanse sanctify my soul cleanse my soul cleanse my conscience 
stand up and sing loudly Inside yourself, 
in the silence of your heart get into a deep silence where jesus the lord is with you in you want to set you free mukti total freedom from all the wrong teachings and wrong convictions in our soul as today the bishop was talking about the passion the fragrance of christ the passion for evangelization happens from a pure heart a heart fully hinged with christ absolutely no double thought i belong to you lord i love you lord with an undivided heart i give myself completely to you please do that and say lord you know what are the hindrances in my soul you said in matthew chapter 15 13 every plan that is not planned by my heavenly father will be plucked out every plant every plant yes lord here i am please do that in my heart i have given my life to you lord please lord sanctify me like you wash the feet of the apostles you wash my soul wash my conscience wash my inner senses wash my memory from all the impurities now in the quietness of your heart you ask the lord what is that what is that which is still hindering please show me lord oh lord i am ready i am ready to give up everything oh holy spirit show me holy spirit show me holy spirit cleanse me holy spirit he's doing he's doing he's washing keep on offering your memory your unconscious mind your subconscious mind in the subconscious mind many many wrong things may be deposited that can be cleansed that is like a rubbish unwanted things stored inside us shala bala 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 wash me wash me lord cleanse me lord you can also a little bit loudly pray otherwise you may fall into sleep you can little bit raise your hands and praise god praise you jesus thank you jesus wash me lord wash me lord cleanse me lord wash me lord purify me lord purify me lord purify my inner senses purify my inner senses purify my memory everybody loud up purify my memory purify my memory purify my memory purify my mind purify my unconscious mind purify my subconscious mind purify my unconscious subconscious and conscious mind hallelujah sincerely cry out cry out 
cry Jesus, out, oh Lord, Jesus, make me holy. Jesus, make Jesus, me holy, Lord. Jesus, make Jesus, me holy, Lord. Jesus, make Jesus, me ready Jesus, to serve you. Make me ready to work sanctify, with you. Make me holy Lord, as you are holy. I want to be holy as you are holy. Sanctify me, Lord. Make me holy as you are holy. Now next step is, now go to the inner room, close the door. Close the door means stop thinking, stop all your memories, stop all your imagination and believe God is in you, inside your inner room, you and the Lord. You are a bride and your bridegroom is right within you. Meet him, love him, hug him, embrace him. His spirit, his spirit, his spirit. You cannot, you don't have to see him in a picture. He is not in you as a picture. He is in you as a risen Lord in spirit. Oh Jesus. The light from the Eucharistic Lord is shining in you, penetrating in you and sanctifying you, enlightening you, purifying you, purifying your memories. At the same time, embracing, embracing you with a tender love, with a tender love. Oh, my dear, you are mine. You belong to me. I love you. Now enter into an intimacy. Enter into an intimacy. Now maybe many distractions will come, but reject. No, no, I don't want to think that. I don't want to think that. I want you, Lord. I don't want to think anything else now. I am yours, Lord. Only you, you alone is my heart's desire. You alone, Lord. You alone. Now, you must love him. As you get into that intimacy, you desire, Lord, speak to me, Lord. Speak to me. You can even remember some of the words what Jesus spoke. Remember one or two words Jesus spoke like I am the good shepherd I am the good shepherd because I lay down my life for my sheep any word spoken by Jesus you try to remember only the words by Jesus spoke Remember in your mind. Remember in your inner self. Yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. I love you, Lord. I believe what you said. I am the way, the truth, and life. I believe it, Lord. I believe it, Lord. Whoever love me will obey my commandments. I believe it, Lord. Whom my Father will love and we will come and make our home in you. I believe, Lord. I believe. Now, again in the intimacy, 
You say, Lord, speak to me now. Something now. Speak to me something now. What do you want me from? What do you want me to do for you? What is your plan? Specific plan? Specific plan of evangelization through me? Speak to me, Lord. Speak to me, Lord. Now he will speak. You must listen. When you listen, you should respond. If he, if he speaks something, you should respond to him. Yes, Lord. Thank you for speaking. Then you can clarify. You can discuss. Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, fill me Lord, come Holy Spirit. Jesus, Jesus, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Keep on saying and loving. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Speak to me, Lord. Speak to me. Speak to me. Speak to me.
Now let us thank God. Let us thank God. Let us thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Now this is the way. This is a way you have to practice. All we did now, you should continue to do even when you go home. You continue to do all these exercise, sanctifying your inner self. So you will find some of the old stuff and you have to pray and then you must listen to the Lord and you write down whatever the Lord speaks. Sometimes there may be only one small word. As an example, <laughs> once I every day I listen to God and I write it down in my diary every day, every day. Sometimes the Lord says, why you listen only in the morning? So often I listen. So one day morning, the Lord said to me, you are a stone. You are like a, you are a stone. Oh Lord, why you say that I am a stone? But still I love that. You said it. So there may be surely something good about it. I wrote it down. The Lord said, you are a stone. Then I know the message is not complete. So I waited for him. So we have to wait. We have to wait. Oh Lord, speak and wait. Then after some time he said, You are a stone in the hands of David. By God. You are a stone in the hands of David. Suddenly I felt such a power such a power rushing into me. I jumped up like a spring. That's what happens. And then the matter did not finish. Evening, somebody came to meet me speaking terribly, not good language to me insulting me for no reason and I was listening long time but finally I I'm about to lose my control I wanted to get up and speak to him shut up your mouth and say something like that as I was about to get up the Lord said stone do not speak I sat completely in silence. Stone, do not speak. But at that moment, a spiritual power emanating from me to that person, he became silent. I prayed for him and he began to cry. He entered into repentance. He came to me and asked pardon. Everything happened in the silence. This is an example. I tell you, in my diary, the first page it is written, listen to my voice. This is Jeremiah chapter 7, 23. In Jeremiah chapter 7, 22 and 23, 24 says, I did not say to you to make any of the burnt offering or anything when you came out from your slavery to victory, but I said only one thing, listen to my voice and obey that. But they did not they did never, they never heard my voice. Therefore, they're doing everything according to their own sinful heart. Therefore, their journey was backward, not forward. Jeremiah chapter 7, 22, 23. Listen to my voice. So Israelites, although the Lord has brought them out, 
they never heard his voice so there they get got into a greater slavery of babylonian exile so god sent prophets isaiah jeremiah ezekiel all these prophets were the people listening to god and speaking through the prophets god brought them back so my dear friends very important is listening and in my life i thank god for this grace every day i listen i write it down and that is how my daily life goes on you should have a diary every day you must listen and write it down and it will happen the lord speak and it will happen thank you jesus come on thank you jesus now we can receive the final blessing thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine.